DLR and quant scores are fluctuating a lot. Is it too late now? First of all, it's not too late. It's still a month. If scores fluctuate, there's one reason and one reason only. You're being flippant about accuracy, especially LR, DA and quant. One trick that really worked magically for me, for several of the students I've recommended to, is to take one mock where you're saying, I will not get even a single question wrong in quant and LR, DA. You say, look, I'll attempt six questions, get everything right. Five questions, get everything right. Four questions in quant, but get everything right. So you have to become anal about accuracy. You cannot be carried away with, with attempts. Attempts is the measurable, tangible variable. That is the thing that is that draws you while you're in the process of writing a mock. Right? Whereas scores come later on. But the score is the real variable. That is the important part. That's the ball game. Right? So we get drawn towards more attempts. Whereas we should compellingly dial down that, that, that magnetic pull of attempts and force ourselves towards accuracy. If your scores are volatile, that means you're being flippant about accuracy. On the day your guesses go your way, you have a rockstar score. The day your guesses don't go your way, you plummet. The best candidates don't rely so much on guesses. That's the most important thing. You cannot say, I'm doing fast. That's why I'm being inaccurate. No, no. Doing a question quickly and inaccurately is a crime. Taking another five seconds and getting it right is, is, is phenomenal. It's confidence giving. I've seen several questions. Students who say I've attempted ten questions, but maybe five or six will be will be will be right. I'm like, which are the ones that are wrong? What are the questions that you attempted that you believe will be wrong? Why have you attempted any question in quant, thinking this could be wrong? You get the answer as eleven. If eleven is there in the choices, it should be right. If it is not, then you are not marking a choice. You've done the approach, you've had your fund as right, you're going to go towards the right answer. Don't punt and don't go towards one random guessing trait halfway down. Be anal about accuracy, it pays off. It pays off in spades. I'm facing problems with time, speed, distance and mensuration. Suggest a way to bridge these gaps in a month. With the month, mensuration is just five formulae. Write it down. Do one, Take one more topic-wise test in each of these. If it doesn't fall in place, dump it. We're talking about... 24 questions in quant. There'll be one from here, one from here, maximum three. You can dump these two topics and, and rock this paper. This is not just speed, time, distance, and mensuration, quantity geometry, trigonometry, binomial theorem, uh, pipes and systems, uh, clocks and calendars, any one of these topics, or two of them, or three of them, you can dump and yes, this paper. You cannot say, I don't know how to solve linear equation. It's fundamental. Framing 2x plus 5y is basis for everything. You probably cannot say, I don't understand geometry at all. Because out of 24, you could have six questions from geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry put together. You can't say, I don't understand percentages. I don't understand ratios. The absolute bedrock, you can't leave. But everything else is optional, especially from here on in. Whenever I'm attempting a mock, whenever I'm attempting a mock, just taken this control C, control V from the questions. One section always thanks. Usually it's either DILR or QA. Also, my semester exams are going to end right before the CAT, so I won't be able to devote as much time as I would like to CAT. What should I do during the course of my semester exam so that my performance in CAT has not happened? Don't try to over-optimize. Don't say I have a semester exam now, I'll still take a mock CAT. Semester exams are important. They do take, uh, they extract their pound of flesh. Mighty glad that you're probably going to end your semester exam, maybe on the Friday. Switch back on on Saturday and do this. If you've already taken a few mocks, you're ready. Uh, if your QA is tanking, then it, it's, it's, it's uh, probably fatigue. You have to find a bunch of techniques to wake yourself up after 80 minutes and say, look, 120 minutes, another 40 minutes, I can face this and more. I'm going to do this quant section as if it's the first section and my entire timer is being reset at zero. I'm not tired at all. You can easily con your mind in your brain into giving me for, into giving you 40 more fresh minutes. Do that. Do that. Be switched on consciously. That helps. As far as the exam being there, my recommendation would be to when you have an exam on, on, on semiconductors on Tuesday, you can't take a mock on Monday evening. Your mind will be neither on semiconductors nor on mocks. Those eight days devote to your exams. Finish them off. Take your mock last mock cat beforehand. Your exam gets over on a Friday. On Friday evening, take a mock. Then switch off, feel good, take rest, sleep well, have fluids, go and give it a full-fledged go. Don't, don't always think about both things. That's very tiring. Not worth it. <laughs>